Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial. I am teacher Kiran. So today we are going to see how to use the whiteboard okay, in, an, in a class. So I have my students joined in. Okay, There are 34 students up here. They are all here. So I can click here and I can see their names. Okay. Alright. And today we are going to discuss uh, tips or points on how to write an essay entitled a holiday so we have finished with paragraph one and paragraph two paragraph one you have written when where did you go who did you go with how did you go there okay and paragraph two you have described the place that you have chosen and one activity okay so we also discussed on page two okay some vocabulary that we can use and today we did this activity on page three where you have all typed in your vocabulary okay so you see angeline has typed on cloud nine Gariot has typed walking on air okay tan jun hao typed packed like sardines okay so well done very good so we are going to continue with our lesson today where we are going to do paragraph three okay for paragraph three let's go back to page one okay paragraph three you're supposed to write two more activities you can do uh, in the place that you have chosen for your holiday okay so let's go to paragraph three all of you please look at paragraph uh, sorry page three page four okay go to page four okay so now i want you to think uh, of the place that you have chosen the same place okay and add two more activities you can do in the place okay just like this example you should start by writing your name so i can know who has responded and i can tick as your assessment okay then the place that you have chosen so teacher kiran chose penang and the two activities that i'm going to do in penang is visit the 3d museum and shopping at comta so i'm giving you some time quickly type choose a sticky note type your name yes type your name first then type the place and two activities Come on. Hmm, good. Make it bigger. Some of you are so creative, so cute. Yeah, it's all coming up, bubbling. Colorful, little sticky notes. Angeline, can you type the place and the two activities to, in your sticky note? You have to click edit and you can add on. Very good. Angeline, click edit and add on. Okay, so let's see. Keep them coming. Yes, very good, Angeline. Pantai Merdeka, you want to have a picnic and you want to collect seashells. Okay, let's look. Tan Rao Ed, Genting, roller coaster. Uh, take a ride uh, on Genting Skyway. Okay, roller coaster spells uh, R O L L E. R, uh, not A R, but E R. Okay, Songzhe, you add your place and your activities. So, teachers, this is one way we can assess students if they are able to understand our instruction. So, this can be listening assessment for your formative assessment. You can test them on their listening skill. You can also test them on their understanding. Okay, their understanding and so on. So this is a very interactive and a good way to um, have fun while teaching and students also can experience something new. Okay, with that, thank you very much for joining me. Do try uh, this jam board or whiteboard when you use Google Meet. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.